Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. This is Muhammad Kamal Hussain, lecturer, Department of Mathematics, Scholarship School and College, Dhanmandi, Dhaka. My dear students, most welcome to all of you. This is your first academic class in the 2021. So I welcome to all of you. And today I will take your math class. And inshallah, we are going to start our class formally. So my dear students, please let me know. Top line of the board, right side, left side, and light and sound quality. Is everything okay? Can we start our class formally? My dear students, please in the comment section, you can give your attendance. And also you can tag your friend to connect with us. Within a short time, we are going to start our class. Okay, my dear students, everything okay, inshallah. Uh, I think now uh, 80 plus students now connect uh, with us. So my dear students, uh, this is the academic math book class, uh, class 6. I think this is a little bit different from the academic math book of class 5. Uh, class 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, almost the same question category and academic year almost the algebraic part. There are four part, arithmetic, algebraic, and the geometrical, and the data and information. So finally, uh, first few minutes I will discuss about the content and then we will come back to our regular class. So first, uh, basically uh, in mathematics, you can see here, Chapter 1 and 2. This is the basically 1 and 2. The first one is natural numbers and the fractions. So 1 and 2, these two chapters in your academic book is the arithmetic. Arithmetic part. And chapter 3, 4, and five. These three chapters, these are algebraic part. Algebraic part. And chapter six and seven, these two chapters from geometric part. Geometric part. And the finally chapter eight. And this is statistics and data and information. Data or information and data. So we can, this is information and data or the statistics part. So basically uh, in up to, up to eight, there are one, two, three, Four parts. One and two, the first one, the about the different types of number, content related with the ACF and LCM related natural numbers and the fraction. Then chapter two also, uh, ratio and percentage, that the number converted into ratio to percentage. So this, this chapter one and chapter two, the content is related with the arithmetic part. Uh, in your academic year, uh, finally, uh, in final exam or the half yearly exam, and basically you have to answer two questions from arithmetic part out of three. And you have to answer two questions from algebraic part out of three. And the same, the geometry part also, you have to answer two questions out of three. And data and information, statistical part, and you have to answer one question out of three. So totally, you have to answer two plus two, four, four plus two, six, and six plus one, seven question. Each question mark, each question mark is 10, and the seven question mark will be 17. So this is your creative question, CQ. So uh, in, the, in the 100 marks question, and the two questions, arithmetic, two questions from algebraic part, two questions from geometry, one question from data and information. 
the seven questions totally and your have result will be 10 multiplied 7 70 and the mcq mcq now each mcq mark is one so 30 mcq marks will be uh, 30 mcq mark is 30 total marks total 100 so my dear students okay uh, this is your total marks and total hundred marks in the final term exam or half year the exam but in mathematics uh, the creative questions basically like the first question there are three part a b and c a part you will get at two marks the b four marks and each question c is also four marks total marks 10 so this is basically your academic question mark distribution. That each question you will get a three different part A, two marks, B, four marks, and C, four marks. So each question mark is ten. The seven questions, the total you have to write the TAT question, seven question mark is seventy, and the thirty MCQ, each MCQ mark is one, so thirty MCQ is thirty, total hundred marks. But before half yearly exam, you have to give first exam is the first midterm exam. The first midterm exam basically 50, uh, 50 marks. The three creative questions you have to answer. The mark is 30 and 20 MCQ will be 20 marks. 30 plus 20 is 50. So this is basically our total maths book. There are eight chapters that are divided into four parts. Arithmetic, algebraic, geometry, and other information. Up to class 5, uh, already we have discussed the uh, you know about the arithmetic part and the maths you have done in the class 4, 5, all are connected with this arithmetic part. So, also you have basic knowledge about the geometrical figure or diagram, like a triangles or quadrilaterals or circle base, and data and information so you have also started from 3. Uh, three. So and the three, four, five, six, almost the same step by step. The information is going to add, and the uh, the maths formations and everything is changing as far as class standard. So this is totally new content from the uh, from class six, uh, algebraic part. So my dear students, and this is new content in the academic uh, academic year 2021. So inshallah, today we will discuss a uh, few maths from the al al algebraic part and inshallah our first target. So I think math syllabus is okay, my dear students, uh, please let me know, I think the syllabus and question pattern and question, uh, question each question mark, is it everything okay? I think this is the uh, total, chapter 8 and the 8 questions that are deep into. Uh, divided for smallest portions. So please let me know. I think the uh, question pattern and the uh, overall content uh, discussion is okay to you or not. Please let me know. Okay, sir. Uh, so you can take it note down in your academic uh, classwork copy. The chapter 1 and 2 arithmetic part, this algebraic part, 3, 4 and 5, 6, 7 geometry part. The geometry, this is the theorems related, this is the construction related and data and information. So inshallah today we will discuss, today we will discuss chapter 4. The chapter 4 from the algebraic part. So this is the first uh, algebraic expressions. Uh, the basically two con uh, content here, the first one, algebraic, in algebraic expression. Uh, like symbolic application of alphabet, symbolic application of alphabet or the second keyword is here use of alphabet 
instead of particular numbers particular numbers so this is the two key word in the exercise 4.1 so uh, my dear students the symbolic application of alphabet like uh, in arithmetic part we basically write here the plus uh, addition this is the subtraction this is multiplication and this is division these are the four symbols called here operation symbols they are called operation symbols the plus addition subtraction multiplication and division uh, there are another six symbols like this is called the relation symbol greater than smaller than equal uh, not not greater not smaller not equal and they are called the relation symbols and they are called the operation symbols we do simplification by using these symbols so these four symbols they are called the, uh, the operation symbols and they are called the relation symbols so there are uh, one two three four five six relation symbols and there are four operation symbols so in four operation symbols in arithmetic we say here addition and subtraction but in algebra we can say this one is plus this one is minus this one is multiplication or dot and this is the divide or division so this two the, this is the addition converted as a plus and this is the minus so by using this one like uh, x plus y x plus y or we can write here x minus y so this is an algebraic expression x minus y is an algebraic expression x x plus y is also an algebraic expression so uh, inshallah today we will discuss uh, the addition uh, addition subtraction multiplication division successively we will discuss uh, the addition subtraction multiplication and division of the algebraic expressions so today here we are going to discuss here like the coefficients the word is coefficient the content like uh, uh, phi phi a square so basically phi a square if the variable is a so we can write here, this a is called base this a is called base and the phi is called coefficient phi is called coefficient and a is called index index or power power so we can say here the coefficient of a square is phi like coefficient of a square is phi if we see here phi a phi a this indicate as phi to the power a or phi a both are same this is the visible word and there are also invisible one power so if we see here 5a or 5a to the power 1 5a to the power 1 or 5a both are same here so if we say here the coefficient of a the coefficient of a that means this is the phi this is also the coefficient of a is phi here in the here coefficient of a is square coefficient of a is square equals to phi similarly if we write here uh, phi times of x that means coefficient of x equal phi coefficient of x equal phi uh, my dear students so I think this the concept coefficient is clear to you. 
uh, like if we write here uh, three like three a three a to the power four a to the power four or this is called the fourth power of a so now coefficient of a to the power four is three this is the coefficient so please let me know and in the uh, four four a a to the power seven okay please the coefficient of a co coefficient of a to the power seven equals to what and in the second question minus two a here you can answer coefficient of the first this is the first question this is the second question coefficient of coefficient of a equals to what so my dear students please try to answer these two question here the in the first question what will be the coefficient of a to the power 7 and what is the coefficient of a here please in the comment section uh, you can write down the answer what will be the coefficient of these two maths this is number two of first one and second one please let me know okay in the first question we see here uh, the coefficient of a to the power seven the coefficient of a to the power seven is four and the here the coefficient of a so coefficient of a the coefficient of a is minus two if we see here this is a minus you have to mention but if this number is plus so no need to mention here operation sign plus but if there is a minus symbol you have to mention here minus so the first question answer coefficient of a to the power 7 equal 4 and the coefficient of a here equal minus 2 i think now this is okay to you okay my dear students i will discuss another question uh, like uh, this is the uh, four times uh, four multiply a or four dot a or four a they almost they are same they are same meaning this is the multiplication symbol four times of a this is also dot indicate us here the multiplication so this is also four times of a and this is 4a if we don't see here any uh, operation symbol multiplication but algebraic letter and the numerical number and they are if there, there is invisible multiplication so this is also 4 times of a so if we see here 4 multiply a or 4 dot a or 4a they are same meaning they have same meaning this is the 4 times of a this is also 4 times of a this is also 4 times of a so in multiplication in the algebraic letter if we write here now coefficient of a is 4 here is also coefficient of a is 4 the coefficient of a is 4 but now So please tell it again. Okay, sir, I will discuss, my dear students. I think if you have any confusions, so. Uh, like, uh, three times of A plus four times of A. 
3a plus 4a. Here the coefficient or like here we can write here the ab. Okay. The coefficient of a. If we write here. Coefficient of a equal 3. And here. Coefficient of AB equal 4. So I think the coefficient, the numerical numbers, multiplied with the algebraic letter. So if we find uh, as to the coefficient of A, just, just skip the AB, the remaining part will be the coefficient. The coefficient of A, just skip the A. The remaining part, the, that is the which one is multiplied with this algebraic letter, this is the 3. So coefficient of A equals 3 and the coefficient of A equals to 4. Uh, like uh, 4 minus 4AB. Four so here coefficient of AB equal minus 4. Coefficient of AB equal minus 4. So, dear students, uh, like this, if I ask you the coefficient of AB, so just skip AB and hide AB, which one is remaining here? Minus 4 times. So, that is the minus 4 is the coefficient of AB. But here, this is the plus coefficient of AB equal 4. This 4 indicates as the invisible plus. Here is coefficient of A equals to 3. So I think now uh, coefficient concept is okay to you or not. Uh, please my dear students let me know. The coefficient concept is okay to you or not. Please in the comment section you can write your opinion. Is it okay or not? Thank you sir. Me too finally understood. It is okay. Okay, now I will give you the few maths. Find the coefficient of the following numbers. Find the find the coefficient of the find the coefficient of x find the coefficient find the coefficient of x in the following algebraic algebraic expressions the first one are 5x another one number 1 5x number 2 Minus 5x number 3 1 by 5x number 4 x by 5 number 5 minus x by 5 number 6 5 a x 
नंबर सेवन माइनस माइनस फाइव बाय टू एक्स नंबर एट ए माइनस ए एक्स नंबर नाइन माइनस एक्स नंबर टेन माइनस एक्स बाय ए सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ द क्वेश्चन गिवन हियर वन बाय वन यू कैन ट्राई टू आंसर आई विल गिव यू वन मिनट आफ्टर सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स आई विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन सो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन यू कैन राइट आ फाइंड द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स in the following algebraic expression and so in the comment section you can write the answer like number 1 what will be answer number 2 number 3 successively you can find the coefficient of the following algebraic letters no uh, Please do not mention here x, sir. Uh, did sir start the class doing the chapter one or four? Uh, I am going to start here the algebraic part, the new content, the chapter four, exercise four point one. Uh, okay, dear students, your time is over. Uh, fine. Now uh, you can give your answer with me. The coefficient of x. The coefficient of x. The requirement is find the coefficient of x. Now, if we hide the x here, which one is that? Okay. Okay, if we hide here the x, the coefficient of x, then the first question answer is five. If we hide here x, the remaining part is five. The coefficient of x equal minus five. The coefficient of x here is one by five. This is also same. The coefficient of x equal That means the five is the here denominator part. So this one will be one by five because we can convert this number as a one by five times of x. So here the coefficient of x by five indicate us this one is one by five times of x. So that's why coefficient will be minus one by five. Now the coefficient of x, the coefficient of x. So if we hide here x, the remaining part is 5a. That is the 5a times with x. So coefficient of x, if we hide here x, the coefficient will be 5a. Here the coefficient of x is like as previous one. This is minus 5 by 2. Here the coefficient of x equal minus a. Here the coefficient of x. This is minus x like minus x equal minus one times of x. This is the invisible one times the coefficient the invisible one times. If we like here like twice x, that means minus two times. This is a uh, five uh, minus five x. So there is no numerical visible number, so that's why there is invisible one, the invisible one time. So now the coefficient is minus one. Here coefficient is minus one by a. 
Uh, so this is the first question. Answer five minus five. 1 by 5, 1 by 5, minus 1 by 5, 5a, minus 5 by 2, minus a, minus 1, and the minus 1 by a. So, in the comment section, you can write how many answers you have done correctly. Uh, please, uh, out of 10, how many answers you have done correctly, please, in the comment section, you can write. Uh, number four and number number seven confusion. Sanaullah Shabda. Thank you, sir. Yes, it's easy, sir. Uh, maximum student you have done correctly. Only seven. Thank you, sir. Finish very easy. Okay, very easy, sir. Very easy. Thank you. Number ten. So the Nasrin Jaman Singh, sir, it's the pretty easy and you understood it's okay. Sir, I didn't understand too, but I didn't see the reason why not. Okay, thank you, sir. My answer is 10. Absolutely right. Okay, I think uh, maximum students, uh, you got yeah, 10 out of 10. I think uh, this, this one was confusion to you. It's an easy technique. If we ask you here the coefficient of x, just height x, which one is remaining? 5. The height x, which one is remaining here? Minus 5. Height here x, 1 by 5. So similarly, if we hide here x, this is the micro 5a. So that's why the 5a is the coefficient. So my dear students, I think coefficient concept is clear to you. Now, we will discuss about the operation symbol and how we can add. This is now again, this is the number 12, sorry, 11. Number 11, second step. Five A, B. Five A, B. Go. Coefficient of AB equals to what? The first one, A, this is the first one, two, coefficient of A equals to what? Number three, Coefficient of B equals to what? And number 12. Number 12. We can write here. Minus 5 A B square. And here, coefficient of b squared, coefficient with the first one, co, coefficient of b squared, what? And coefficient of a equals to what? This is the number two. Okay. My dear students, in the comment section, write down the answer. What will be the answer? Number 11 and number 12. Farjana Jahi, sir, I didn't understand. Okay, sir. I have a simple concept. I have a coefficient of AB. Talking to my coefficient of AB, you have a coefficient of AB. 
the coefficient of AB, which one is remaining? 5. So now coefficient of AB will be 5. The coefficient of AB is 5. Now I save you the coefficient. Coefficient of A. Now just skip height A. So coefficient of A is 5B. The coefficient of A is 5B. Now coefficient of B. Just height B. Which one is remaining? As a times of B. 5A. So coefficient of B is now 5A. Here, the coefficient of b square, just hide b square, which one is remaining? 5a minus 5a, because the minus 5a is the times with b square, so coefficient of b square is minus 5a. What is the coefficient of a? So if we hide here a, which one is remaining? This is the left side minus 5, right side b square, so total minus 5b square. This is the minus 5 b square is the coefficient of a. I think now concept is okay. Uh, my dear students, please in the comment section you can write your opinion. The coefficient concept is okay to you or not. It's easy. Fatima Binte knows the right now my answer. Number 1 and number 2 are correct. Thank you, sir. I think Jabeda, Bina, thank you so much, sir. Understood. Now it's understood. It's easy taking. Just uh, take a paper or a scale and hide this number. The coefficient of AB, now hide AB. The 5 times. The coefficient of A, hide A. The remaining part, the 5B. The coefficient of B, just hide B. Which one is remaining? The remaining one as a times. So this is the 5a. So I think now coefficient concept is okay to you. Uh, I think uh, today my target the we have discussed about the uh, algebraic symbols and the addition, subtraction converted as a plus and minus. And then we have discussed here the uh, index, base and the coefficient. So basically my dear students uh, if you see here, okay, I will give you here the five maths as a homework. Uh, this is your Homework number one, one by five x y co coefficient of x y equals to what? Number 2 minus x y coefficient of x y equals to what? This is the question number 1 this is the question number 2 and the question number 3 3 minus x by y here the coefficient of a coefficient of x equals to what uh, number 4 number 4 number 4 minus x minus x a by y here coefficient of coefficient of x equals to what 
So this is the four maths, your homework. So my dear students, I think the coefficient concept uh, is clear to you. And if you have any questions, so uh, inshallah, uh, in the comment section you can write if you have any questions. In my next class, inshallah, I will discuss uh, exercise 4.1 formally and the content related with the addition, subtraction, and how to find the times like the uh, cost of a pen is x taka and cost of a pencil is y taka. What will be the total price x plus y taka? So by using this algebraic expression in the next class formally we will discuss uh, in our academic book and today we have discussed uh, about the uh, concept of the coefficient number and how to find the coefficient of the variable. So and this is number one to number four it is your homework. And I am your Kamal sir. Uh, my contact number is 0171768432. Uh, basically, uh, if you have any questions, if you have any questions after the class, uh, it just you can contact with me. Inshallah, I will try to answer. And so, dear students, our time is totally uh, over. And hopefully see again with you in the next classes and wish you all the best. होमवर्क होमवर्क फिल्डर